हेलो क्रिएटर्स दिस इज़ मधुरा आर्टिस्ट बिहाइंड मधुरास फ्लोरल डायरी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड दिस इज़ माय फर्स्ट यूट्यूब वीडियो एंड दिस क्लास विल बी पेंटिंग रेड क्लव्स सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट मटेरियल्स दैट वी विल रिक्वायर सो अ राउंड ब्रश साइज फोर एंड साइज सिक्स देन वी हैव सम वाटर कलर्स ओवर हेयर आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग दैम लेटर अ जार ऑफ क्लीन वाटर सम टिश्यू पेपर्स and i'll be using 440 gsm watercolor paper with rough green okay now let's talk about watercolors so the first shade that i have is red violet it's a shade of pink you can use any pink or violet color or purple color that you have in your palette i'll just name uh, write down the name so that you can refer it later then the next color that we have is scarlet a shade of red i'll just swatch it out so that you can refer it and write down name in front of that so it is scarlet the third color that we have is Indian yellow again a shade of yellow you can use any yellow color that you have don't stop yourself just be creative the third or fourth color that we have is um, olive green you can again use any green that you have now let's talk about some basics that we will require to paint this flower uh, so we'll start with the strokes that uh, we require so i'm just uh, writing the title strokes okay uh, for uh, thinner leaves you have to use size 4 and for thicker leaves you have to use size 6 so for the practice purpose i'll be using size 4 what you have to do is you have to paint a thin stroke then a thick stroke and again a thin stroke just redo it to get a leaf shape you can paint a thinner stroke with less thickness and a thicker stroke with more thickness you have to practice it in all possible directions now if we observe the flower we have a bunch of three petals uh, sorry leaves together so we have to paint it it can be a combination of thin or thick petals according to your choice then let's start painting the flower just observe the flower uh, it is a dome shaped flower or a semi circular flower so i'm just capturing the shape with clean and clear water now talking about the texture we have a 2d texture to flower so i'll just capture that with thin lines once we are done with the thin lines i'll add some green color in the bottom and yeah we are done with the basics now i'll keep this sheet aside and let's start with the final composition now for the final composition i'll be using olive green color for the stem so let's start painting the stem you can start from top or start from bottom it's totally up to you once you are done with the stem i'll start painting the branching now just observe we have a bunch of leaves over there so what i'll do i'll leave some space to paint that bunch 
and try to add the branching on top of that as we discussed leaving the space to be in the bunch okay now i'll switch to size 6 for painting the leaves as i just wanted to paint bigger leaves all the instructions are same like we discussed before for painting the leaves it's a bunch of three leaves typically in this flower so i'm just trying to capture that point okay now i am done with the leaves for the flower as we discussed before we just have to mark the overall shape of flower with clean and clear water and then i'll be using uh, my pink shade that is red violet to capture the toothy or spiky texture and it is with thin lines so i'm just trying to do that they are just thin lines as we discussed in the basics once we are done with this flower let's start painting the other one now just observe the size of this flower it is just a smaller version of what we painted just now now again i'll follow all the instructions and paint it make sure you are adding green color in the bottom part then i'll start with the third one it's again the smaller version of second flower so i'm just capturing the shape and then the toothy texture now as you can see in the reference i just painted a bud so i'm just trying to capture that too i'm using a watery consistency or just simple water to mark the guideline or just paint the overall shape and then again i'm capturing the toothy texture with thin lines the change is i'm now using green color to just show the bud Once you are done with the bud just attach it to the main branch as you can see in the reference or the painting that is there on left side we have smaller leaves very close to the bud or the flower correct so i'm just trying to capture that you can use size 4 brush to paint a uh, thinner leaves so it it should be uh, the same as we discussed thin strokes for painting the leaves i'll be following same instruction on left side then i'll try to paint uh, the leaves on all three flowers and the bud then i'll paint the leaves on the rest two flowers and then the bud I'm just trying to add some darker pigmentation on the bud and then start painting the leaves. Then I just wanted to capture the when of the leaves. So what I'll do, I'll start with a thin line from base of the flower and end the stroke slightly before ending of the leaf and then I'll add the vents like it is kind of sub branching i'll try to do it on each and every leaf
and yeah we are done with the final composition i hope you liked it and if so do like uh, the video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching it bye bye